Oh yo, Tony here from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com. Coming to you, we're going to be doing a quick live stream tonight. Uh, maybe only 30 to 40 minutes. <clears throat> I'll give it a couple of minutes for the guys to, to jump on tonight. I hope many of you who wanted to make it, made it and are on tonight. I am willing to answer a ton of questions for you guys. And I'm going to go over a common question that I've been getting this week uh, from my subscribers and on my videos. So we're going to do that. Um, but before we get started, quickly, I want, when you guys, when you're getting on here watching this, quickly tell me if this is your first time watching, second time, third time, fifth time, tenth time, and uh, type in where you're watching from, okay, where you're from in the world and also uh, if you're a total newbie or if you are pretty much experienced just learning new tricks you know you just want to get out there and see what else is available to expand your profits and uh, and all that good stuff awesome so again this is going to be a interactive call tonight a live call because I'm on live right now and like I say in all of my other videos the more you can give me the more I can give you what's up Eric Pierce <laughs> yep you've been on here almost for every single one that I do I want to thank you for that thank you you're awesome dude I'm not awesome guys Eric is awesome in here <laughs> maybe we got more awesome guys coming on I did send out the notification very, very late. I had a long day today. Quickly, just quickly, um, I'm painting this BMW that I have. So uh, I've been like procrastinating on getting that done. So finally today I got everything, I got pretty much everything ready to be painted. And um, I, you know, I finished at seven o'clock. I had to run and jump in the shower, eat something and then get on here and I only had like 10 minutes ahead of time to email you guys on my list. Um, <clears throat> so sorry about that. I usually like to get out the email notification about an hour before uh, to 30 minutes before, but this time it was a 10 minute window and by the time the email sends out, it's probably like five minutes for you. But as soon as I go live, YouTube sends you a little uh, notification here. Um, on your iPhone if you're subscribed it'll it'll pop up you know it'll say Tony how to flip cars for profit is live awesome 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 Iowa multiple times between here and LABAP every time yeah I know so how many of you guys want to see the quick car that I'm working on the BMW in the, in the shop a little later after we get into this uh, I will go into the shop and I'll just give you a, a one minute tour of what we got going anybody anybody interested in seeing that yeah, it's going to take about another 10 minutes for people to start really jumping on tonight. But um anyway, I'm glad that I'm glad that whoever wanted to make it on tonight is here. All right? Um let's see. All right, so I've been getting a lot of questions, uh, but before I get started, I want to ask you guys, okay, the audience. I want to ask you I know we have a couple newbies in here. Chicago, second time, uh, Crestview, Florida, Eric, okay, love the channel, awesome. Um, we had a newbie in here as well, okay, right there. Uh, and let's see, how many people in here bought and sold a couple cars and made a profit? Just by show of hands, if you could type in me, and you were profitable, not you bought and sold the car and you broke even or you lost money on it. How many of you guys in here bought and sold the car and made an actual at least 500 profit? At least 500 profit. Oh man, excellent. <laughs> awesome. I see I see a hand. I see a hand there as well. So, you're telling me that you guys bought and sold the car and made $500 profit cash in your pocket, right? That's freaking amazing. Let me ask you another question. How long did that take you? How long did that take you? 
and reveal to me how much profit you actually made. Because I just said, I just said 500. Maybe it was like a thousand for you in here, right? Give me some, give me some real numbers. How much profit you really made? Type it in right now, and I'm gonna congratulate the person who made who made the most. So, <laughs> so type it in, and also how long did that flip take you? How long? Thousand dollars every card. That's awesome. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Okay. Um, ideally, you want to up that a little bit more. Okay. So we got Catherine, thousand dollars plus on every car she flips. Um, we got Hassan, Hassanin. I don't know how to pronounce that, but if you could tell me your real name, I'll call you by your first name. Give me a short first name that I can call. A uh, 2001 Ford Escape, $800 in profit. That's awesome. That's not bad, right? Who else? Who else in here made a profit? Catherine made $2,000 in less than a week on a G6 Pontiac. Did nothing to it besides fixing AC. That's amazing. Catherine, are you a female or are you the husband of Catherine in back? And back of this, give, give me some feedback. I want to get to know you guys here because I, I recognize a lot of names in here. And female, okay, awesome. Rami, okay, Rami. So Rami did 800 bucks. Eric Pierce took about a week and he made $700 profit. Eric, what did you buy and sell? I started in high school. That's awesome. I started in high school as well. My first car that I bought and sold, I was, well, I didn't buy it. I sold it for my stepfather. I was 14, 14 and a half, and he split the profit with me. I actually painted the whole car and I sold it. LOL, don't seem so surprised. No, I'm not surprised, Christine. I actually have a handful of VIP members that are female, so I'm not surprised. It's just very rare. You'll get you'll get maybe you maybe 5% of females will flip cars like out of every 100 VIP members i have maybe about 5 of them are females so i'm not surprised it's just it's nice to see females in here doing business as well right make stuff happen all right so a vw van awesome eric that's awesome that's awesome. Most people are shocked though when I tell them. No, that's great, man. Hey, you do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. I flipped a Triumph Daytona motorcycle for $1,000 profit. That's awesome, Christine. <laughs> you should tell us about the deal a little bit more. And I, I actually had a motorcycle deal that I did too. The ladies thought it was like 150,000 miles on it, but there was only 15,000 miles on it. I got it like super cheap. I think I paid a, like a grand for it. It was a Yamaha Royal Star, V Star, one of those Royal Star V Star. Right? I think it was a Royal Star, and uh, I just had my guy detail it, clean the chrome up, and we sold it for like thirty five hundred or four four thousand dollars. I made a couple grand in profit just through the detail. Pretty crazy. So that's awesome, guys. You guys are doing great. So now, <clears throat> now, one more question. Okay, as we as we go along here. Today I just feel like interacting with you guys. Patrick here, first time, just signed up today. Awesome, Patrick. Welcome, Patrick, VIP member. Have you ever bought and sold any cars yet? Have you made a profit yet or no? That's we're just kind of covering that. Um awesome. I made myself a little mocha today. Okay, now, how many of you guys in here set goals? Any of you guys in here set goals to how many cars you want to flip or how much money you want to make per month? Because when I started setting goals maybe 10 years ago, not even 10 years ago, it was when I had my baby, okay, Maya. She's eight years old now, maybe when she was about one or two I was struggling financially. All right. I, you know, I, all I did, I never had a real job. All right. The only real job that I had uh, was, you guys want to hear this story really quickly? This is pretty interesting. 
quick story about about me, my work, and my real job that I had. Just quick, it, it, I think I think it'll it's it's a funny story to tell you. <clears throat> so, uh, I was seventeen, turning eighteen, right? I grew up in the automotive, so I to make my money, I always worked with my dad. I did, you know, I basically painted cars, did body work, okay, did a lot of that stuff. And um, I met this girl, and she's like, "Why don't you get a real job?" You know, she's like, you know, she her she was like one of the rich girls. Okay, she went to a private school. Her parents had money. You know, it was so 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 meeting me like you know like this bad boy. I was like a bad boy. You know, I, I was always like doing all kinds of stuff, and you know, I was making money on the side doing the body work, and I never paid taxes and all that. And she was like, why don't you get a real job and pay taxes and that, that, that. They started nagging on me. Like her and her parents started nagging at me. So I had to go. So I was like, all right, screw it. So I, I became a busboy at a Japanese restaurant, right? And like I was getting, I don't know, I forgot I was getting paid, $8 an hour, $7 an hour or whatever. And like I did that for six months. And then I was like, screw this. So that was the end of that and the relationship. And I went back into, I was like 18 and a half by then. So I went back in the car thing full time. And I was like, screw this. Because I'm used to making thousands of dollars a month at that age, you know, in profit banking. So I said, let me start just, you know, buying and selling cars. Because I didn't really like working for customers anymore. Because working with customers is a pain in the ass. You know, you get customers who want their complete car painted. They're like, I just want a cheap job on it. You know, just something cheap. So you give them a cheap job, right? You charge them fifteen hundred or so, right, for a single state. And then when they pick it up, they're looking at it like with a magnifying glass. You're like, what the hell? You wanted a cheap job, and now you're nitpicking on everything. If you were gonna nitpick, I would have charged you five thousand dollars, right? So you end up with those kind of people, and it was all right. But I started getting tired of that, so I was like, I'm just gonna buy and sell cars for profit. And that's when I went in full time. Full time for years and years and years and years. I basically went to auctions uh, before I was 21. Now you got to be, you know, you got to be 21 to go to the auctions. I used to go with my dad's partner, sometimes with my dad. I used to go and just say, I want, you know, bid on that one, bid on that one. Yeah, because, you know, we used to, he was next to me and he just say, yeah, yeah, you want to go bid, bid, bid. So that's how we, we used to buy. So I used to buy cars under my partner's name, my dad's partner's name or my dad's name. And I used to just get them back from that. Sometimes I'd buy three, three cars in one auction, right? That would keep me busy for the next month, right? Basically getting them done, whatever I had to do, a little bit of paint, a little bit of mechanical, whatever I had to do, and just flip them, flip them, flip them, flip them. And I was making about three to $5,000 a month, right, in profit at that time, you know, staying, doing things on my own, you know, not working for a company, not just doing things on my own. And then I, I had my kid. Right. By the time I was 24, 25, I had my kid and um, I was like, man, I really got to start hustling. Right. So at that time, I had a full time job. My mom just opened up a restaurant, right, a little food restaurant because my stepdad is a chef. He was a, a well-renowned chef in Hawaii. So they decided to open up their own place. So I said I would help you out for the first year, 18 months. To get started so I was their delivery boy because they had like a, a food catering service as well so I was their delivery boy for the first 14 months um, getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning working with them doing the deliveries you know working in the kitchen in the morning helping pack helping load up and I had to do like three or four runs with the van and that's when I started basically kicking ass in life I put six hours in Six Trey, I'll get to your question. After 12 o'clock, I was done. So from noon till evening, I had my time. So that's when I basically have cars lined up that I would go look at, right, on the road. Like go look at a couple of cars a day, make deals. And I would basically buy and sell. And I was consistent at making eight to $10,000 a month in profit consistently. No problem. And that's how I really learned how to flip cars for profit, how to find the best deals, how to talk to people, how to negotiate. And I really learned a lot during that time. And then I kind of started my internet businesses while doing that because with, you know, 
I, you know, I might, you might have heard me say this many times, but the average millionaire, and I read this from Robert Kiyosaki years ago, has at least seven streams of income. Okay, seven streams of in, multiple streams of income. So, the buying and selling cars was basically building a savings for me where I could start another business or invest in other things. You guys getting this so far? And that's super important. You don't want to just go all in at just this and just have no other plan, right? You want to basically save the money you're making here to invest in another business, start another business, and just grow with that. And use buying and selling cars. Use that new skill that you're learning right now, right? Use this skill to profit of, to profit off of, right? And make it your extra stream of income. Does that make sense? I mean, that's my philosophy. The more ways you know how to earn, the more ways you're gonna be well off and always you wanna prepare, right? Prepare for yourself and your family. You never know what's gonna happen. So I hope you guys like that so far. Um, okay, so you guys like that? Was that a cool story or what? Just a quick, quick little intro, you know? <laughs> All right, really stupid question. How much does it cost to paint the car on average? Well, you can go to Mako, 500,000 bucks, but I wouldn't call that average. Um, if you go average body shop and you want to get a pretty nice paint job, you know, two to three grand, roughly. Um, and if you want to do, if you want to get something nice show quality five to ten grand maybe fifteen grand if you're doing a complete restoration um, taking all panels off and doing a nice show job on a classic you're looking fifteen twenty grand uh, that's to do a cherry job I'm awesome rich Trey did that help out Catherine I quit my job start doing this full time I'm in a great location three hours from Chicago awesome awesome every car I buy from there I can bring here and make a thousand profit easily. I just need to figure a way to get them. <clears throat> well, you should kind of think of making more than a thousand profit, Catherine. I mean, I think you're doing good, but try to figure out how to make two thousand profit. I mean, it seems like you have the capital, right? So start buying better cars where you could make a more a more leeway difference, you know, two grand profit at least per flip. And that's very doable. Sounds great. Cape Town. Oh, not Cape Town. Cape Canaveral, Florida. Never been there. Michael. I have a son I can't drive every day. I hear ya. How old's your kid? Okay. Is everybody enjoying this so far? Pretty productive. Now let's... Give me some feedback, please. I need some feedback in here. Now let's switch gears... And we could talk about 17 months old, your little baby. We could talk about an easy way for you to set some goals, okay? You guys want to kind of learn or get a, a little idea on how to set some goals? I don't know who this is. I'll just block it off right now because right now it's your time. Um, okay, so goal-wise, you need to have your magic number. And then what do I mean by your magic number is, your number is, how much do you want to make every month? Can, can you guys in here actually type in, I want to get some, I want to see, how much do you guys want to make per month flipping cars for profit? I want to see the, the, the ballpark number that most of you guys have in here um, to make flipping cars for profit on your part time, right? You don't have to go full time, but roughly... What are you guys looking at? All right, so we got eight grand. I'm writing this down because I want to know. Eight grand per month flipping cars. Four grand. Okay, I'm going to get an average here. Come on, give me some numbers, guys. Give me some numbers. I, uh, I used to think making two grand was going to be once in a blue moon. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we got two grand. We got six to ten. We got five grand. We got six grand. Is that it? Any more? Anybody else want to type in four to six grand, four to six K? Um, and how, how four grand? Okay. Okay. Three to four grand, another four grand. Uh, once I get really going 10,000 a month. Okay. 10 K. 
What's up, name? First time. We're asking everybody here how much you want to make roughly. What's a comfortable, what's a, what's a number, a goal number that you want to make per month flipping cars for profit? Three, five K, three to five K, two grand. Okay, in Brazil, two grand is a lot of money. Uh, 5,000. Okay, cool. Um, how many of you guys in here, I mean, how many of you guys in here are doing this as a second stream of income? Or is this your main main income? So just type in second or type in main income, like your only income. If this is your only income, type in main or only. If this is your second stream of income that you just want to make some money with, type in second stream of income. Okay, so type it in, type it in, type it in. Hurry up, guys, hurry up. I just want to go through these quickly. Second stream, second stream. This is my main because I don't do anything else. Hey, that's fine. This That was my main for a long time until I started my businesses. Main income, main income. Uh, second, 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 third, second, second. Nick says, Trey, Nick, Trey, William, second, Augusto, third. Eric Pierce, third flow. Awesome. Okay, I'm starting up trying to send trying to send be my second stream. Awesome. Okay, so that's great, guys. I'm very, very proud of you guys. I mean, you guys are hustlers. You guys are on here because you want to freaking do something in life, right? You want to make more money. That's freaking awesome. I congratulate you because you're in the same boat as us. We are hustlers, right? Hustlers! Making shit happen. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like the average from everyone in here is about $5,000 a month. 5K a month, $60,000 per year. That, now, can I ask you one more question? I hope it's not too personal. I hope it's not too personal. But let me ask you a question because when you think about goals, okay, when you have a strong reason why in back of your goal, you are 80% more inclined to achieve that goal. Did you know that? Okay, so let's, let's do it. Let's spill it all out. Why do we want to make $5,000 a month? Is it because we want to provide our kids with a better life? Is it because... It will help buy me more time and freedom. Is it because I can take my husband or my wife out on a vacation or buy her gifts? Type it in, people. Type it in. Get it out there. This is very important for your success. You might think this is corny, but it's not. It really is. Think about it for a second and just type it in. Why? Why do you want to make the extra $5,000 per month? Will it help you pay off bills? Will it help you pay off bills? Will it help you save extra money for a rainy day? Is this your savings money, right? Why do you want to make $5,000 a month flipping cars for profit? Type that in. Come on, guys. I don't see any, I don't see any nest egg, put, putting money away, new investments, all the above, all the above, and to start buying and selling houses. Victor, I like that, Victor. You can take, and I, I actually have VIP members who, who took this of buying and selling cars and saved up over 100000 and he flipped a house and made fifty grand on one flip. That's, that's Richard G. out of New York. He was one of my VIP members a few years ago. So I'm going to read this out. Uh, best tools for my body shop and my hunting addiction, <laughs> Nick says. So my wife can quit and kids go to Disneyland and save for retirement, pay off a student loan. William, William, I like your answer. It's, it's, you have a lot in there. Your wife can quit work. You can take your kid to Disneyland, save for retirement. Patrick says pay off medical bills and insurance. Absolutely. If you do one car, that'll take care of that. All the above. I'm disabled and it keeps me busy. I like that, Eric. I like that it helped. It keeps you busy. You got something to do. Keep your mind straight. Uh, Catherine says, pay off debt, have freedom to become home with my little guy, have financial freedom. 
Catherine. Awesome. Awesome. I just, you know, you are you a single mom? Sorry, I'm just kind of getting a little emotional here. Are you a single mom? Um, Michael says to keep from becoming homeless. Well, Michael, when your back is against a wall like that, you know, you make things happen, right? There's no other option. That's how you have to look at it. Pay bills, uh, help my family out. How much is VIP? VIP is, uh, I'll give you a link after. I don't want to talk about the program right now. Um, if you have a course for that, I'll buy it. A course for what, Victor? Oh, for, for flipping houses? Check out Dean Graziosi. I like him a lot. He does a lot of, uh, he, he does like what I do in the house market. He helps people out with buying and selling houses. Dean Graziosi, great guy. Trey says, I have extra, I have extra mouth to feed here in a few months. I want to save money. Congratulations, buddy. Are you, you having a kid? Is it a boy or a girl, Trey? I want to have extra money. Good hobby. Yeah, awesome. Uh, I want to start flipping exotic cars. That's cool. Sorry about my broken English. No problem. Not single. Okay. Okay. Just don't want to rely on anyone when I know I can make money. Hey, nothing wrong with an independent woman here. Um, and Shu says, start up a savings fund for each of my kids. How many kids you got, buddy? That's awesome. Guys, guys, everyone in here, you guys have amazing reason whys, okay? And there's, there is, if you put your mind to it, there's nothing that you can't do. So I think to reach your goal of $5,000 a month is very, very doable. So the way to do that for kids, wow, a lot of mouths to feed. And again, congratulations, Trey. <clears throat> Okay, um, I'm going to get back into the goals right now, quickly. So if we want to profit $5,000 a month flipping cars to profit, right? We want to make that, right? How many cars, you got to think to yourself now, how many cars do you actually want to buy and sell? And how busy do you want to be? Okay, that's another question you got to ask yourself. How busy do I want to be? Do I want to make that five grand in two cars? Do I want to do it in three cars? Or maybe I don't mind hustling right now and learning and putting the work in. And if I make about $1,200, $1,300 per car, I'll do, I can do four cars, right? So you want to think about how much work you want to do, okay? I, I personally think to do, you could, you could make 5,000 profit in two to three cars, easy, per month. So you're not going crazy, right? Two to three cars, I usually like to make, you know, I got I got picky over the years. You know, if I'm not going to make 2000 2500 it's not worth my time. <clears throat> and I would rather just not even do it or, you know, work on, you know, do something else. Right? So that's just me. You know, for you, you may be in a position where, hey, every thousand counts and you'll do it for a grand. If you know you can make a thousand profit, you'll do it. So that's how you got to break it down. And then you got to break it down even further. All right, if I'm going to if I'm going to flip 3 cars a month or let's just say 4 cars a month, okay, to make 5,000 profit, that's 1300 profit per car, right? That means you basically got to try to flip a car a week, okay? Flip a car a week. So look at this guy, Sled Neck Slayer. I'm flipping snowmobiles right now. I live in Minnesota. I have a family out in Oregon. Uh, I visit, buy cheap snowmobiles, sell them in Canada. Hey, whatever works. You could flip motorcycles, snowmobiles. It's all the same because the profit is the same. You just got to make that money. All right. So you break it down, okay? And then you break down searching for deals. And, and also the other thing is, you know, the other part of it is, is how much money do you guys have to start with, right? I know a lot of you guys in here, you already have capital <clears throat> um, because you're already doing this. I mean, I would say 60% of you guys in here are already doing this, right? You guys got money. So, you know, there's always going to be that starting money. How much How much do you want to start with? And I say if you have two to $3,000, you can get started flipping cars and, and make $1,000 profits off of a car. But if you have $5,000 or $6,000 capital to start with, 
you can buy better cars, you know, more current cars, up-to-date cars, and basically make more profit off them. <clears throat> I don't recommend, uh, unless you're starting with a small capital, I don't recommend, you know, flipping cars less than 12 years old. You know, if, if it's older than 12 years, you know, you're not going to make that big profit off it. But it, it, it all, again, it all depends on the deal, okay? It's very hard to pinpoint it down. It all depends on the specific deal that you get. But, okay, let's see. Uh, you guys getting this so far? Are you guys liking this? Am I making sense here? Thinking about, Manuel says, I'm thinking about getting my dealer license, how much would I save? Well, getting a dealer's license is not how much you'll save, it's how much you actually gotta put in to get started. It costs a lot of money to get a dealer's license, but there are other ways of going at it. You know, you could rent a dealer license from somebody and use their dealer license. Um, awesome people, thank you for the feedback. You could rent, but usually to get a dealer license, you need a car lot, you need a bond, you gotta go through all this paperwork, and you're gonna be in the hole maybe 30, 40, 50 grand. You know, so it's, you know, if you wanna go big, I would start, and if you're a total newbie and you wanna go big, you're thinking big, there's nothing wrong with thinking big. And I really urge all of you to think big. Because if you think big, your goals are gonna be bigger, right? And if you miss your goal, you're still going to be a little higher than where you, if you were to think small, right? Never think small. Think, set your goals, set your goals a little unrealistic and try to get them, okay? Try to attain them. Really, try. Because if you fall short a little bit, you're still going to be doing better than if you set a, an average goal. Average people, if you want average results, set average goals. If you want to get exceptional results, set ridiculous, unattainable goals that you think, but keep going for it. That's what I do, and it works. Awesome. Uh, so Victor says, uh, okay, hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm just reversing a little bit. Um, okay, so what marketing tools do you use to flip your cars? Um, I use a lot of word of mouth. People know, I've been doing this for years, people know I buy and sell cars, so sometimes people are like, hey, Tony, you got a car? Or, you know, I know people. People ask me, Tony, you got a car for sale? What, what do you got? I have a friend. So that's one way. If you're in it for the long run, people know you. They know you sell good cars. They know you come across a lot of deals. You're going to get a lot of help with marketing just through word of mouth. And there's nothing more powerful than word of mar mouth marketing. Remember that, and you probably know that because you always ask your friends and family, oh, what's a place good to eat? You know, oh, that place is good. You know, it's a good place to eat. Go check it out. Friends and family, right? Oh, you got to, oh, don't go there, right? Am I right or wrong? All right, and the other one is Craigslist, and also, if you really want to be, you know, an action taker, put a little for sale sign in your car. I always do that. For sale sign with a number, uh, and people will text you, they'll call you, whatever, and if you're driving a car around. Um, okay. Insurance will be expensive. Sorry as well. Good advice. I want to do this, but I'm still learning about cars myself. I start school for air conditioning. Uh, work in 40, 50 hours a week. What's a good step for me to take to learn more? Trey, um, how do you have a couple thousand dollars to invest? Do you have a couple grand? Oh, don't worry about your phone. I know I know what that is. Over here, you have to have an office with plumbing and electric, sign letters, no small than six inches, and a working phone on site, as well as paperwork kept on site. And that's for a dealer license. So you gotta go through a ton of hoops to get a dealer license. I know in Hawaii, when I was gonna get one, they needed a handicap accessible bathroom on the premises, right? They needed a $50,000 bond. And I was like, screw that. Like I knew tons of people in the automotive industry with dealer licenses, so I just partnered with them. Uh, what do you think about getting a wholesale license? I have a guy trying to talk me into it. Missouri license, 1500 bucks, 300 a month. Uh, that's, that is 
basically renting someone else's license. Same thing, okay? Um, it's, it's up to you. I, I don't know the guy. I don't know what he's talking to you about, okay? Um, if you can make the numbers work, then it's probably worth it, right? If you can profit more than 300 a month, how many cars can you buy and sell uh, with his license? Is it, you only get one plate or two plates? How many can you buy it per time? Can you buy three cars, four cars, right? Not at this very moment. We're currently saving, but don't have much at all. So, Trey, I think if you have around 2000 bucks to get started with, that's plenty to, to dip your feet in. and to, to You could probably start in the 90s cars. And another way to make tons of money with older cars are by getting little classic cars that a lot of people don't really know about, but you know, there's an enthusiast niche crowd about it. That's what I like to do too, and I talk about that at my F1 course as well. So there's a lot of ways to get started. Um, I'm thinking about getting my dealer license. How much would I save at the auction? Um, again, it all depends, okay? I don't know the details of your current dealer license or, or who you're hooking up with. I don't know, okay? You'd have to figure it out and see, you know, do the math. Do the math, Manuel. I don't know exactly, you know, it's it's hard for, it's, to ask me a question of how much you're going to save, it's very it's very broad in general, and there's no way I could answer that. You know, I don't know what kind of cars you're buying. I mean, how do I know? What you... <laughs> okay. Okay, basically, you rent the space and get three plates. How hard is it to buy at auction and resell only to only dealers since they can go to auctions? Why would they buy from some? Well, you know, I would buy wholesale. You could buy wholesale and sell. Yeah, well, I used to buy from wholesalers as well. You'd basically be just like anybody else selling cars, but selling them a little cheaper because you get the deals. And you're probably going to be selling them uh, without doing much work to them because you don't want to put all your time into fixing all these cars now, right? And then and then selling to the public or to dealers, right? You're, you're just going to be like a middleman wholesaling cars, right? So, like, I used to buy from a wholesaler. I used to buy from a wholesaler and sell to private party. Well, you can't sell to private party on the books, but you could sell to private party. Okay? You can't sell to private, but you can. It's how you want to look at it. All right, too many people in the business anymore to, to buy and resell back. I don't think so, Rich. I don't think so. It all depends on the deal. Because if you get the deal, you're talking about auctions. That's different, Rich. I, I pretty much agree with you with auctions. Unless you're doing unless you're doing uh, salvage and you can get a really good deal on a salvage, like really good deal, and you have the resources to fix it up, either you're fixing it yourself or you're subbing it out to some auto body guy that you know then you could really score but then again you know you got to deal with sell, reselling salvage and i don't like buying and selling salvage i like to to buy and sell salvage if i keep the car for a couple of years and then i flip it i used to do that a lot i don't really mess with salvage too much what's up mr mitchell auction fees auction actually auctions are really cutthroat nowadays you know because a lot of them are open to the public, right? And you get all these newbies in there bidding up and jacking the prices up. They don't even know what the hell they're buying. They're not even thinking of reselling for a profit. These guys are buying for them, right? And they're jacking all the prices up. It's not like how it used to be 10, 15 years ago. That's for sure. So, all right. So we had a couple of people in here. <clears throat> Uh, I wouldn't mess with flood because you got electrical and computer systems. I would only buy a flood salvage car if you need it for parts. You know, because you could really end up with some major electrical computer problems that the headache is very, very bad. And uh, again, people, if they see that it's been in a flood, big no-no. All right, flood cars, I would rather a impact accident, okay, than a flood car.
All right, so here is the URL. Some people were asking how to get started. Check out my F1 program. Um, it'll teach you everything you need to know about buying and selling cars and make a profit, okay? It's an eight-week course, step-by-step, -step, videos, the whole shebang. And I show you exactly, if you're a total newbie, how to get started and really how to take it to the next level, all right? So it's 40 minutes so far. I told you guys. Um, you guys enjoying this? Did you guys like this so far? Yes? No? Yes? You guys want to see me on again next week? <laughs> I told you guys that I would show you my garage and show you kind of the car that I'm working on quickly. Just a minute, one minute little tour. Give me some feedback guys if you guys like this. I really enjoy talking to you people here. Really, really, really enjoy it. Um, okay. Awesome guys, thank you. So here is, let me put more lights on for you. Here is the car that I'm working on. I'll show it to you quick two minutes. And I will say goodbye. Um, we will see you next week. But then again, for my auto body guys, I will be seeing you tomorrow night. Um, and I actually plan to paint this thing. So here we got, here we got a 2000 BMW Z3 M edition. Okay, it's a 2000. It only has 38,000 miles on it. Very, very low, very low mileage. All right, I picked it up from a private party, one owner, which is actually by word of mouth. It was my daughter's uh, classmate's dad. We were kind of like dad friends, right? When you take your, you, you talk once in a while, parent meetings and all that, right? He was moving, he had to get rid of the car, he sold his house, sold the car. Uh, the car is worth around $20,000, okay? I paid 13 for it cash. Low, low mileage. It had rock, no accidents. It had rock chips across the front and the front bumper. Rock chips. Okay? So I basically sanded the whole thing down. I put some thick 2K primer on it, filled the rock chips, sanded it. It's all ready to be painted. So we're going to paint the front bumper. We're going to paint the hood tomorrow. Brand new paint job. Um, and the back had a little dent as well. Right over here had a dent. And I just, me being the perfectionist I am, I couldn't leave it. So we are going to be painting this quarter panel, right? I'm going to be blending it in because I'm not painting the whole car. And we're going to paint the trunk because I noticed some scratches in here as well. So we took care of that. We're going to just clear, paint the trunk quick. We have a little gouge here. I still got to put some glaze on it. And that's it. So we're going to be painting the trunk. This little quarter panel, the hood, and this. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight. And uh, yes. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. How much do you spend, if you don't mind me asking? Where do you get replacement bat body panels? It all depends on what you, know, what, what you want to do. I talk more about that at learnautobodyandpaint.com if you want to learn more. But here is the URL for F1 Auto Cash Formula, my How to Buy and Sell Cars for, Pro How to buy and sell cars for Profit course. Check that out if you're interested in learning more. Um, auto Body Materials, this is only costing me about 150 bucks to do because I'm doing all the labor myself. I have the skill, okay? And uh, everything, I show you exactly how to do this paint was actually a hundred and twenty and then you got paper and tape and all the other little stuff right so about 150 160 bucks for material does your VIP explain Sangrit VIP explains everything 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 so this is uh, my URL for uh, the how to buy and sell cars course and here is my URL for learn auto body One second, guys. I'll just give that to you, and you guys can get out of here. All right, so you can learn more about auto body at that second URL and uh, all that stuff. I can't fix cars. Will this still? Absolutely, it'll still work for you. It will still work for you. There are many people in the industry who just buy, they get the work done, right? You just have to e figure the equation. 
all right, how much you're going to pay the body guy. You're going to want to find a cheap body guy if you need paint work done uh, or any, anything like that. Mechanical stuff, I teach you basic overall mechanics in my F1 course as well. So if you don't know how to do your oil changes or how to fix an AC leak or how to do all of that, I have step-by-step -step videos in F1 that goes through all the mechanics of flipping cars for profit, the common things, the detailing, what to do, the senses, so when somebody goes in, they, they, they feel like they want to buy it. I have a lot of sneaky tricks uh, that I use when selling cars that really work really, really well. All right, so it's Tony. Thank you so much for getting out with me tonight. Check out the links in the chat that I just sent for you guys. And um, Eric has been a VIP member for three months. It's well worth the money. Thank you, Eric. You are awesome. Thank you, guys. Yes, absolutely. I will see you on next week, same time. Auto Body Guys, I'll see you on tomorrow. Have a great night. Write your questions down for me for next week, and we will get them covered there. All right? Ciao, guys. No problem, Mr. Mitchell. Cheers, 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 cheers. All right, guys. Thank you. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No problem, Sled. Mr. Sled, no problem. Thank you. I'm out. I'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Bye.